So the digital world is changing things by itself without any influence from writers. I just uh, welcomed back to the university a mm -hmm. student of mine, a young woman, uh, who with her, the guy, her partner, have uh, created a, what I imagined would happen in a digital world, which is a, a, a work, a fictional work, very engaging that uh, it's called pry because at some point mm -hmm. you can take your fingers on the screen it's mm -hmm. for the, and pry open people's heads as it were and get at what they're thinking behind their, mm -hmm. their speeches and it's um, it, it uses film um, I mean video it uses sound of course and it uses text a lot of text mm -hmm. that is not just oral but that you read this is a very fascinating piece of work, mm -hmm. exactly what I predicted, that the future fiction would use film and, and sound as well as text. And my worry always was, and I wrote about this too, was that text would disappear, that video is more exciting, image is just easier to deal with in terms of the mm -hmm. reader's point of view, just much more passive, you just sink into it. And I was worried that that would be the route it would take. And this is mm -hmm. a perfect example where y you can't really understand anything except by reading it. You've got to read it. Mm -hmm. And I, th I think it's the future of, of uh, that kind of narrative which may become the dominant form. Mm -hmm. Always you have old forms continue to exist. So I could imagine that uh, 200 years from now you'll still have novels, more or less printed novels, you can still have stories wherever they might appear, and you can still uh, um, have poetry, certainly. Mm -hmm.